Hey, what's up guys? This is Last of Figures coming at you. Just doing a quick review of my uh, Marvel Select Planet Hulk. I was very excited to get this figure because I love the Hulk and I just love when Marvel Select does big figures like this. So I'm just going to be very quick about it because I'm not really good at you know doing videos and professional about it. So, um, First of all, let's start with the box. Where's the box? I forgot. I can't find the box right now. But, um, yeah, you can see, there's a close-up of his face. Liking the face sculpt. I gotta say, I wish they had the alternate head where, you know, had showing him, like, yelling or had to show his teeth, but the meat mug is okay for now. This is, uh, I see a little skull here. One thing with this, though, this does kind of pop over easy, so you gotta be careful with this. I mean, it came in the package like that, but, you know, just gotta be careful. Uh, you got your little shoulder pad thing here. Focus. Which is very nice. Looks like almost like bones. Very nice, very sharp. Great details. Always from Marvel Select. And you have his hand here. This armor on his arm. And then you got this chest. You got this piece here. You got his arms. This little skirt. Might be a pervert when I do this, but Hulk's crotch. Backside, pause. Got his calves, slander, his feet. Okay. Now as far as articulation goes, it's not really much, but um I think some of it can be all you know modified a little bit. The head just goes up and down a little bit, you can see from the side here. Which isn't that bad. I'm pretty sure you can just heat it up here and just use an exacto knife and just cut out some of the extra plastic here, and you're able to go up and down a little better, much better. I'll try that later on. Uh, same thing with the diaphragm. It doesn't go. It's not much, but um, I'm pretty sure it's almost like the select destroyer where you can just you know warm it up, pop it off, and just cut out some of the plastic on top here, and it'll allow you to go back and forth a little bit much better. I'll try that later on. So I was talking about this thing is always popping off. So go out with his you got the abs, the arms. Move out that much. He has a bicep swivel. Single elbow. The hand. Uh the legs kick out that much. Sideways and forward, not too much. Oh, hold on, stand corrected. Yeah, moves up a little bit. So, and as far as the feet goes, he does. So let me see. Yeah, he has ankle pivot. So, stand him up here. And this is some of the sex he was coming with the shield, which is very light. Very light shield. I believe you put it on this arm. Let's right, see, so just put it here. Put it there. So now you got him holding his shield. Again, you have to forgive me, I don't have much space here and I'm not good at taking video, so. This hand can hold his battle axe. Which is kind of weird, but again, I'll figure that out later on. Alright, and now to do some size comparison. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Builder Figure Planet Hulk. Um, I don't think I really need to say much about this. I think the picture or video speak for itself. It's better articulation, less articulation, better detail, better size, smaller figure. Your preference. For someone like for me who's you know starting to work on uh, doing stop motions video, this would be could be a little easier to work with. Okay. Here he is with Unleash Hulk, which is crazy. I didn't think it was gonna be this big, so. There he is with him. 
and here he is with Groot. Size difference here. Put him back to back. Oh yeah, he's definitely taller than Groot. Which is funny because they say this is a 10 inch figure and this is a 10 inch figure. This is probably much more than that. I actually have a ruler here, which I should do in the beginning. But uh, he stands at if nine and a half. You go up to right here, up to the head. But with this tomahawk thing, is at 11 inches. So I forgot to do that. So all right, one more comparison. And here's with the Mighty Thor, which is, this figure is actually coming back out in Disney Store. I'm actually going to go back and cop a double, just to keep one in the box. But, um, if you guys didn't get a chance to get the first one around, make sure you get it now. But, um, here he is with the Hulk, which is, to me, perfect scale. I'm going to try to do a stop motion video with this later on, when I get the chance, so. So, that's looking. Oh, and I was able to find a box, so let me just do a quick look at the box even though I know I'm working backwards here so and here's the box here's some of the side art which is very nice I see this to me it's not that important the figure the figure actually is next picture in the back no story in the back here all right that's that so yeah um again I know some people like Marvel Select because, you know, they're too big or articulation. But, I mean, I just love it just for the sculpt and, um, a little bit, you know, the sculpting and details. That's more important to me than articulation, you know. Just the added articulation is good enough for me, so. Again, thank you for watching my video. This is Last of Figures. Uh, make sure to subscribe. And have a good day. Thank you very much.